everyone, it's Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we're going to try an independent bottling of Coila. So this is an eight year old single malt that has been matured on a refill bourbon hogshead. It's very interesting, it's from the team at Nabretrin. Not sure if that's how it's pronounced, um, but I'm doing my best. It means the brothers in Scots Gaelic. So they have a really interesting idea of maturing their whiskey in a mother cask, is what they call it. Then when this cask is ready, they are going to take half of it, bottle it straight away as the little brother, which is what I have here, the wee brother. And then they're going to take the other half of the cask and finish it in another cask, so mature it for a wee while longer. And then they're going to bottle that as the big brother. Very interesting idea and it would be very interesting, of course, to compare a little bit of this to what is about to come as the big brother. So I'm definitely saving a bit of this lovely sample that they were kind enough to send to me and see if I can compare it to the Big Brother later on. But we are going to have a little look at this, as you can see it's quite pale, um, which you do tend to get from a lot of Isla whiskies because you do want that lovely smoke to stay so you don't want too much oak character. And like I said, it's 80 years old. Uh, it's also bottled at 60.2 ABV, so it's quite punchy. I really like nosing uh, Isla whiskies. As you already know, Ardbeg is one of my favourite whiskies, and this just smells like walking on the beach. Walking on a beach where someone has a bonfire, perhaps, but you do get that lovely kind of salty vibe, and it kind of calms me down because it almost feels like the waves are coming in and just hitting the shore, and you're just walking along. We get that salty sea breeze, but of course a very kind of dry smoke as well. And some hint of kind of a sugary sweetness there in the middle. I'm going to have a little taste, so slam your Yeah, I immediately get that sweetness coming through. Very mouth-watering dram. I don't really get the immediate kick of the alcohol, which is very nice. 60.2 is quite strong. But it does have that lovely sweetness coming through, which complements the drying smoke as well. I could probably sit with this dram all day long. It's just really nice. And of course the finish is really long. It just sits there with you. And it keeps building up that warming smoke. It almost feels like the, the smoke is rising, uh, but it's still very dry and very salty. You do almost get like a Christmas spice as well. Like if you blend up together, maybe ginger, cinnamon and cloves together. So you get that lovely little blend of spices. The spices don't feel that dry, it's more the smoke that feels dry to me. But yeah, very nice coastal dram and definitely very warming. And it has that lovely sugary sweetness, so more like a sponge cake. So it's almost like if you have like a lemon cake or something, a lemon drizzle cake perhaps, along with that smoke. So if you maybe throw a, a lemon sponge cake <laughs> on a fire, I don't know, maybe you'll get something like this. It's really nice, it's really warming and just a, a really nice example of what a, a good Isla whiskey can be. I do love a, a cask strength single cask just because you do get to kind of choose what you want to do with the dram as well. I'm going to add a few drops of water and see what happens to it. Here we go, so a few drops. On the nose I would say you get more of that smoke coming up, so that really drying smoke. I would say you get more of that warming feel of the alcohol, you almost notice it a bit more now and that drying smoke really really kind of comes up. So much more smoke on the palate as well. It has that dry kind of really bonfire, really ashy kind of smoke. I also get a lot more sweetness, that sugar kind of sponge cake sweetness which goes really well together with the smoke, even though it might not sound like it does. Yeah, really lovely dram. 
Uh, I'd love to hear if you've tried any independent bottling Kalilas that you really like. Uh, have you tried this one perhaps? I do think there's a few bottles left. Uh, but I would definitely keep an eye on what Na Brethren is doing in the future because it does sound like they have a really interesting idea. But yeah, lovely to hear from you as always. So please let me know in the comments and slanjava. Have a nice day.